Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you a shortcut to a typical geometry question that you may find in the SAT, and I call this the long diagonal question because usually that's how it's phrased on the SAT. Now, this is a shortcut that I remembered when I was taking the SAT, which helped me score a perfect 800 the first time around. So I think it's very important for you guys to, to know the shortcut as well. So what you have to know is that the long diagonal of a rectangular prism is the line that's drawn from opposing vertices. So here I'm going to draw it in. Here's one end, and I'm going to draw it all the way to the opposite end. Now I'm going to call this diagonal D. Now what you can see by this diagram here is that it's almost like a triangle but not quite. So actually the intuition here is that it's going to be some sort of Pythagorean theorem. But actually to solve this problem you need to use the Pythagorean theorem twice. Now we're not going to do it that here because it's I'm going to show you the shortcut of how to think about it. Okay, so you know that the Pythagorean theorem, right, you have two sides, you square them, and you get the third side squared. So in this case, since we're dealing in a three-dimensional figure, we have here three sides. So we want to square them all. So L squared plus W squared plus H squared is equal to d squared. Now this looks very similar to the Pythagorean theorem except for there's an extra dimension here, h. So to find d, all you have to do is take the square root of both sides and now we have d equals the square root of l squared plus w squared plus h squared. And that's it. Now this is our formula for finding the longest diagonal of a rectangular prism. So I'm going to put a box around this. Okay. So that's our formula. Pretty simple, right? Now here's a question. A rectangular prism has length 7, width 4, and height 4. What is the length of the longest diagonal? Let's use our formula, right? So d equals square root. Now you know this is very similar to the Pythagorean theorem, so we're going to square all these sides. 7 squared plus w squared plus 4 squared. Whoops, this one over here is also 4 squared. All right, our width is squared as well. So let's put that in there. Now from this point all you have to do is evaluate these numbers. So square root 7 squared is 49, 4 squared is 16 so plus 16, another 4 squared is another 16. Now this gives us, add them all up, that's going to give us 81 and the square root of 81 is 9. And there you go. Very simple. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about shortcuts and tips and other types of tricks to do uh, when you're taking an SAT. So please subscribe below. And feel free to comment if you would like to see the full solution of this problem using the Pythagorean theorem twice. Please feel free to post that in the comments below. And I'll be right on that video. Thank you.